this is a shop that that is should be enjoyable should just to browse around and look at all this stuff to share these things you know yeah. so we had a client a client who found us from back east and he he got hold of us on the internet and it turned out he was an exceptionally wealthy man and he said when he was a young man he would had all the paperbacks of the Travis McGee novels of John D. MacDonald hmm. and also the Nero Wolfe hmm. books by Rex Stout. He said, is it possible to get the, the first edition in hardback? So we said, yeah. Louis went to work. He found every single one of them signed or inscribed. Wow. Now, and that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> it was a chase. Yeah. You know, it was the chase. <laughs> this. <that>. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, an this example was written by Queen Victoria. An example is the Couch in the Rye. One uh, year you know, to the day book. after her With husband died. Oh, that's just, just a Colonel uh, Bidolf, whose devoted the attachment alone and most valuable services to our great and good master, he is so truly appreciated by his is other, last from sentence. his broken-hearted widow is Victoria. Is that and last this is the killer, Windsor Castle, September eighteenth, December eighteenth, eighteen sixty-two. 52 weeks since the sun set forever for the Queen. That's a remarkable... It's that last... Uh, for me, it's that very last sentence that does it. Yeah. But July this, 21, then, yes. Oh. This is uh, 55,000, but this is Raymond Chandler's own Type typescript. Script. And in fact, there's a letter in here from Chandler, but there's a letter from his agent, too, who we met. He was 94 years old yeah, a, when Louis and I met him a few years ago. In 2001, this is Jekyll and Hyde. Oh yeah. There were ele you know sometimes at the end of the beginning of a new year we write the old year's date on the check. Well, this was supposed to be 1865. Uh, it came out in 1866. They printed 65, and there were only 11 copies of this hand that were hand corrected by the publisher in ink to the correct date. So this is one of 11 copies. This is a very valuable book. Well, what we do quite often is we'll take, if a book is important, like no, this is Oscar Wilde, De Profundis, and the introduction is by Robert Ross, who, is one of, who was one of his close friends. Robert Ross wrote the introduction to this book. How much you sign that one? 12,500. This is another, it's for Ponsilby, who was another friend of Wilde and a sometime lover of Oscar Wilde, from Robert Ross, February 26, 1906. Now, there was no dust jacket on this. But to protect it, we would have and this made. And the same thing yeah. with and something with Kate Chopin. And we did that with the first. The first feminist novel is this book, The Awakening by Kate and Chopin. Maybe you'll find another copy out there. There's none other that we know of for sale. It's that. Um, so we had the the box Boxing. made for it as well. Yeah. It makes it look nicer, and it protects it. And then some, sometimes we'll, we'll see something, we'll have something rebound, like this. This was uh, Walter yeah. Raleigh, 1628. Well, 1628, I mean, you know, it's, the binding was off, so we had it bound exactly. in, in, with an authentic binding. We, we did sell a Darwin, <laughs> Origin of the Species, that's an, yeah, that's which another is a thing. big sale. This was 1880. This is the travels of Marco yeah, Polo. The greatest piece of literature, I think, and I think you'll agree, that we sold. We had a client that called up and said, I want Shakespeare. Oh, yes. Oh, that's and the first for, edition Shakespeare? Or? Well, they came in. First the, folio is literally impossible to get. 1624, you can't get it. It's millions, it's millions. You yeah. know. And the second folio is very difficult as well. That was 1642. Um. You flip the date, so yeah, 1642. Mm. Well, what happens when a dealer gets hold of a second folio play, they'll, it's very rarely do you see the it's complete just. play. They'll split the pages, which is awful, and they'll sell the pages for a few thousand dollars each. Mm. Well, we had a client but who said, one if you can get me a full play in the second or third folio, and we did. We found there was somebody that wanted to liquidate, yep. needed to liquidate, mm. and we got this client first but we got, we got the first one was, was As You Like It, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the first. That was the and first. then we found Macbeth. And, and on the final, the verso yeah. of the last page of Macbeth begins the first page of Hamlet. And we bought that and sold it. And it's it one of those things that, you know, it's my favorite Shakespeare play, first off. But you look at it and you're holding it, and I went, I'm holding yeah. Macbeth. Yeah. Amazing. You're, you're holding. This is also yeah, it's you know, it's one of those things where. Of, uh, exactly. Heritage. To Ava, oh. this is Lord Dufferin and Ava, one of and Churchill's wonderful. close friends, from Winston Churchill, 1949.
he was killed in Burma. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you had said to me five years ago that we would have to sign the Queen of Victoria, I wouldn't believe you. Simple. See, when Louis first wanted to put money into books for himself as an annuity, rather than buy CDs or put it in the bank or invest it in the market or whatever, I must confess, I was a little trepidatious at first, and I said to Louis, you sure want to do this? And he said, you know what, yeah, I'll, I've got, I'll buy one book at a time, and I'll put it away. And now your library yeah. is, is, is terrific, terrific. Um, is that a, 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 a viable thing? A viable Yeah, investment. because yeah. Books, books do escalate. You have to buy the right thing, of course. Right. But for example, with the Harry Potter behind me, uh -huh. if you'd bought a Harry Potter, uh, originally, when you first got him here, which is like what seven years ago, uh, six years ago, you could have got a Harry, that, you could yeah. have got a first edition Harry Potter book for hundred dollars. Yeah. I'll give you also an example: The Da Vinci Code. Now, not all, you know, you know, for the flash in the pan, <coughs> but that book you could have got when it first came out, what three for ninety five, yeah. say eighteen dollars for the discount, whatever, and it's now a four thousand dollar book. Really, the first yeah. edition. The first edition. edition. We, we people don't amazed. know, and that's his fourth book. You know, I've always believed and I've always told people if a new author comes out, buy the first book. Because yes. you do not know. And if you look at authors like that, you've got Sue Grafton, you've got Stephen King, you know, Dan Brown will be running. Yeah, I didn't I mean, know that. J.K. Rowling with Harry Potter. I mean, you yeah. look at these, and you look at these authors, and you go, okay, you know, they're either flash in the pan, which we thought J.K. Rowling would be. You know, just, oh, another children's author. She's changed the world of children's literature. Yeah, she has you indeed. Well, you, she went around at first and signed the books. The first printing of her first book was 500 copies, 200 in paper wraps, and 300 in hardback. They were and they were going to, go to, to libraries. libraries. They were nothing. And she signed them. Today, that first edition of that first book, $20,000. Mm -hmm.